Now, I've, I've often described our fight as David versus Goliath. But you kind of need to sort out these proportions slightly. If, if Goliath was twice or three times the size of David, you know, it wasn't really a match, right? But Shell's net worth, properly accounted for, is in trillions. They are Goliath to governments, Davids. We as individuals are insects fighting Goliath. Small, almost insignificant. But what happened on the 26th of May, 2021, is that 17,386 insects gathered around Goliath and they won. So that's what we're doing here today. We're coalition building. We're inviting other like minds to join us. We're shining a light for others to follow out of the tunnel. Because this building is full of PhDs like you wouldn't imagine. I mean, they, they've been to MIT, they've been to Harvard, they've been to Oxford, they've been to Cambridge. They know everything there is to know about a small amount of life. And for some bizarre reason, I've watched on television over the past three or four years, a 15-year-old Swedish schoolgirl school them on corporate strategy. All of them, in their trillion dollar, multi-PhD tower against a Swedish schoolgirl who shone a light that we all followed here. And our numbers are growing despite the injustice, despite the challenges, despite everything that seems to be against us. Our numbers are growing. If you had told me 10 years ago that an Ipsos Mori poll in the UK would show that environmentalism, environmental concerns, climate change was in the top two concerns for the British public, if you told me 10 years ago this was possible, I would have said you must be joking. I, I, you know, my friends and I were environmentalists, but no one else cares. That's not true anymore. Everyone cares now. And they care because of the way that we have done this. And we must carry on like this. We must carry on being peaceful. We must carry on being determined. We must carry on relying on the science. We must carry on doing one last thing that Bavini virtually hinted at. There's more of us than there is of them. Never forget that. Because you'll be told that your concerns are irrelevant. They're not. You'll be told that your actions are incorrect. They're not. You'll be told you'll never succeed. You will. You'll be told that you're not making a difference and the world isn't changing. It is. We're at this point now, having come from some very dark places quite recently, so if you close your eyes for five minutes and you think, imagine where we could be in one year, in two years, in three years, in four years, in five years. Imagine where we could be. Imagine if we had citadels that actually understood that you cannot make a profit on a dead planet. Imagine if we understood chief executives who could talk about why it's important to make transition happen now, while we have a little the planet, not later, after we don't. Because if you can imagine that, if you can think that through, and if you understand that we are the many and they are the few, you realize that that whole episode of fight and flight with bills that frighten and terrify people 
with police who are meant to stand up against their own personal interests. This weird dichotomy of a world in which we are saying, let's make the world livable, and we apparently are the bad guys. They are saying, ah, it's cool, let's kill everything. And they're the good guys? I feel like I shouldn't preach to you too much, because I want to repeat the demand that I made as I cried my way through my first speech. I'm asking again, because I am one man, I, 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 I'm no threat to this. I'm asking Mr. Van der Burden, the Chief Executive of the show, to meet me in a live 15 minute, 30 minute debate on Sky Television. They promise they will air it. You're a clever man. You have billions of dollars with which to do research and show me that I'm wrong. And I'm willing to listen to you if you're willing to listen to me. I ask you again, please, 30 minutes on television. Let's discuss it so the world can see. Unfortunately, I know this company from the inside out. So I know that this building is flooded with truth tellers who cannot speak because they're afraid. And I want to tell them if they should ever see this speech. But actually, the truth is, so are we. We're terrified. We don't know what else to do except to ask you to join us any way you can. Truthteller.life is online. You can submit evidence of what happens in the show that's hidden from the public. Blow the whistle. And once again, the chief executive of Shell, you can save yourself the embarrassment of having your staff tell the rest of the world why what you're doing is wrong by coming out and telling us why what you think you're doing is right. To thank all of those who come in today carrying the placards, I've been asked by the owners of TruthTeller.life to ask you all, please, to carry placards with names and stand in front of the building in an equal row so that we can take a photograph of the placards and the names that we can post and publicize so that we can show that we absolutely came in peace. We absolutely came to call out the names of our brothers, our friends, our sisters, our partners, our neighbors, our fellow citizens, our fellow Londoners, our fellow humans. Please join us. Thank you. All right, you know what? Six hundred.